equations. Uh, equation is the equation to find the refractive index. Uh, okay. So the critical angle can be calculated by using the following equations. Uh, how to get this equation? Let me show you how to get this equation first. We have learned that from Snell's law, okay, n equal to sine i over sine r, right? Okay. Just now we learned that at critical angles, if this is critical angle, okay, this is normal. Let's label this critical angle with uh, C, yeah? okay. Uh, at critical angles, the angles of refractions will be 90 degree. Yeah? This is the angles of refractions, okay. Uh, so this is 90 degree. For this case, uh, which one is the I and uh, which one is the R? Okay, I equal to what and R equal to what? Because we have I and R, right? We have I and we have R. Eh? We have I and R. The answer is I equals 90 degree. I equals 90 degree. Okay? Why? Because I must be always in its angles in air or in vacuum. I, no matter what's the directions of the light ray. Okay? No matter what's the directions of the light ray, the I is always the angle in air or uh, in vacuum. So no matter what's the directions, eh? okay, even though this is incident ray, eh? even though this is incident ray, still we will take this as the I. Okay, the I is 90 degree and your R equal to C. Eh? So if we substitute this into the equations, then we are going to get sine 90 degree over sine R. Okay, and if you use your calculator to find sine 90 degree, you'll find that it's, it's equal to 1. Eh? So then we have 1 over sine C, and uh, the C is a critical angle. Yeah? So this is the formula or equations that we are going to use to find uh, refractive index uh, from critical angle, n equal to 1 over sine C. Requirements for total internal reflections to occur. In our daily life, we seldom see total internal reflections. And there's a reason, because for the total internal reflections to occur, there is requirements. And uh, usually this requirement is uh, very hard to be fulfilled in a normal daily life. Only in certain uh, special conditions then it occurs. Eh? Okay. So what's the requirement for total internal reflections to occur? First, the light ray must propagate. Propagate means move. Eh? It means move. Okay. So the light ray must a move from an optically denser medium to optically less dense medium. It must be from denser to less dense. For example, so if you have water, okay, this is water. So the light ray must be from water to air. So you see, now you can know why uh, in our daily life, we seldom see this uh, total internal reflex because we live in the air, okay? And uh, we seldom have something which is less dense than the air means the light that we see is always from uh, less than to denser, okay? But the requirement for total internal ref reflection is from denser to less denser. Eh? So that's why we seldom see total internal reflections. So that's the first requirement. Uh, if you want total internal reflections to occur, the light ray must move from optically denser mediums to optically less dense medium. Second, the angles of incident must exceed the critical angle. It must be higher than the critical angle. So these are the two requirements for total internal reflection. And you need to remember this, okay? In exam, this may be asked, okay? So they will ask which, uh, what, uh, give two requirements for total internal reflection, and uh, then you must give this two, okay? Light ray must propagate from optically denser to optically less dense medium, and the angles of incident it must exceed the critical angle. Additional exercise, they give you three cases. They give you the critical angle is equal to 45, okay? And they want you to complete the ray diagram, whether it's refracted or is uh, total internal reflections, okay? So this one 40, 45, 50. So they would like you to draw the ray diagram. Eh? Either it will reflect it or it will go out, okay? The second one also the same, okay? It's reflected or go out or reflected or go out, okay? So try to draw, eh? okay? Critical angle 45, so this one. So what's the ray? It will move up or it will be reflected, okay? So this is the answer. Angles of incident less than 45 or less than critical angle refracted, same as critical angles, uh, refracted 90 degree. 
and uh, bigger than critical angle reflected additional exercise okay in the diagram below draw the path of the light rays as all the rays are directed from a denser to less dense medium at critical angle means all of these are critical angle eh? all of these are critical angle so if it's a uh, critical angles then it will be uh, refracted with uh, angles uh, 90 degree refracted uh, 90 degree or parallel with the plane eh? parallel with the plane okay for this one also the same okay the light ray is refracted at 90 degree when the angles of incident is equal to the critical angle uh, this one also the same okay uh, these two also the same okay yeah 90 degree 90 degree okay